Welcome to Excellent Adventures, where I, your host, Reese Sweeney, take a step away from my duties as a radio and TV personality and give you a first-hand look at my other love, backyard chickens and homesteading. Take a listen to conversations I have with others who are in farming, homesteading, and connected brands. And some of those conversations go a little like this. She does say I have too much, though. So. She says I have too many, but I don't think I have enough. The chicken math started mathing. Yep, yep, it's never ending. I only started with like four laying hens. Now I have over 100 chickens and geese and quail. So the first question we ask everybody that comes on to the Excellent Adventures, what was your old cluck moment? The first thing that comes to mind is when the first time I got locked inside one of my own chicken coops. We talk about the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Now let's see who's on this episode of Excellent Adventures. Hey, we're back at it with another episode of Excellent Adventures with me, Reese, and I got some special guests, better guests, <laughs> per se, guests of Better Flock. They have some wonderful products we're going to be talking about and it all came from a sister duo we have half of that duo here we also have paul here i think we've seen him on the page too without further ado we got paul and bianca of better flock what's going on welcome to the show thanks for having us it's an honor We got we got sister duos. We got a power couple of products. We got a lot of great things going on. And I and I got word from a little birdie that we may be doing a giveaway today too. So this is gonna be a really, really good show. But well, the first question we ask everybody is what was your old cluck moment? What was that moment that you said, you know what? I'm a chicken person now. I am all the way in the chicken game. When did you realize that? Well, for me, I I live in a city and where I live in particular, we're not able to have chicken, but Mm. somehow I realized I was a chicken person when (laughs) my children and my friends, none of whom have chicken, uh, all started associating me with chicken. So anything that came up with chicken, it's like, oh, there's there's Bianca's thing. So I think that was my open (laughs) Bianca's thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. How did, how, did they, how did they know that you were the chicken person? If you couldn't have chickens, you just were, you found some love for it somehow? Found some love and in, in kind of just, I guess, genetic predisposition. Um, <laughs> our, we're a family business, right? And so my siblings and I sort of grew up in, in the feed additive business, um, livestock feed additive. Our dad was in the business for over 40 years until he passed away um, unexpectedly. And he crafted some pretty, pretty amazing formulations, um, some pretty cool, innovative products. And I grew up hearing all about them all the time. Any opportunity he got to just talk about, you know, science and and animals and chickens. And I had enough drawings of chicken guts and the intestinal tract um, on a pen on the back of a napkin if we were having breakfast together or something at the table. And so that was kind of always what I grew up around. And then, like I said, when he passed away, um, unexpectedly, you know, my siblings and I, we, we, we felt like there was still more, right? More for, the, for his products and his life's work to be had. And so we, we had fallen in love with it inadvertently. I guess we didn't realize it until, until you know, he was gone. But um we we wanted to carry out his life's work and so we wanted to build his legacy and find a way to get his products out to everybody right and so he he had traditionally um sold these these he we manufacture here in the u.s and he would sell to distributors internationally so these products have been out in the world i guess you could say for some time Mm. but we wanted to to bring them home and bring them not you know to everybody right everybody's backyard anyone who has chickens so that that's kind of i guess how i became the chicken lady without chickens (laughs) that is the most dynamic story we've had so far about chicken introduction (laughs) yeah sorry didn't didn't mean to come out out the gate hot (laughs) no i love it this is what this is all about everybody's story is unique and that's why we wanted to share them um so growing up you were really in inside the poultry game without being in it by accident you were born to this I, I, you know, and I didn't really realize it, I think, until like in the last couple of years, but in having different conversations, um, you know, even with, with Paul, right? Paul's our animal scientist, animal nutritionist, um, kind of reverse engineering. We didn't get a chance to sit down as adults in the business and, and, and kind of dissect um, our dad's, you know, brain. And so we, we had to reverse engineer what we think. And so I, I often go back to stories of you know things he would explain to me 
growing up or, uh, you know, he would often take us on to trade shows or to different things in different countries. And so I guess, um, you know, it's, it, it all becomes part of your DNA um, through osmosis, right? It is. Paul, you had some big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. How was that interview? <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it, it was a, a, a lot of fun. And, and for, for my O'Cluck moment, um, you know, I always grew up uh, around livestock and, and agriculture on a family farm um, and, and was very entrepreneurial in spirit and, and always looking for you know, all natural alternatives and things. But, you know, didn't really get into chickens just, just a whole lot. We always had them, but they weren't a huge deal. Uh, but it was when I was in college, actually, I met what is my now wife. Um, and I always stayed more on the, the cattle side of the university and she was on the, uh, chicken side university of Arkansas. And, um, we met and, and fell in love and, uh, I knew she was a chicken person and, and I always wanted to go back home to, to the family, um, farm and area and live. And she's like, well, that's totally okay. As long as I get a chicken coop. Um, and that's when that was my, oh, pluck a moment. Oh, here we go. I'm going to be a chicken person. And then. Uh, of course, fell in love with with the Better Flock family, uh, with with my passion of uh, you know really just feeding a better world, uh, making sure that we can provide sustainable, uh, helpful solutions to to everyone that is involved in um, the rearing of animals and and not only just the production of food but the the community and spiritual uh, belonging that animals bring to our life. Love at first coop, I like it. <laughs> love at first coop is is correct that is very correct <laughs> that is pretty cool i saw the picture of you and your sister bianca you guys look like twins it's oh thanks wild. <laughs> yeah. thanks we're, we're the middle we're actually four siblings um mm -hmm. our oldest sister it works in healthcare, mm -hmm. and so and in our brother um worked with our dad for a long time and we all worked together for a long time. Um, but this, this better flock piece is, is our, you know, sort of baby, if you will. Um, but she'll, she'll love that when I tell her because she's, uh, older and so, you know, <laughs> I, understand. I definitely understand. No, that, that is pretty cool. You guys hatched this plan together. Excuse we all did. the chicken puns that we're going to have today. We're, but, we're here for all, all the feathers and all the rufflings and all the, all the puns. Man, that is awesome. And then I'm, I'm looking at, you know, the formula, we received some product. We're definitely going to try it out on our girls, especially in this heat. Cause you guys have some additives to, to the, uh, you know, the water and, and everything like that. So what made you like the, the let's, I guess, talk about this power couple that you guys have. Uh, I'm assuming Paul uh, concocted this situation and, and, and you guys probably had a vision for him. So how did that come about and what can we expect from this product in particular? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it all starts with, with gut health, really. That is the passion and design around everything. Um, and, and, and what all of our years of research and data and, and the legacy Bianca and Claudia's father left us is, is really the understanding of all that the gut is connected to and biological, hormonal, and the different processes that happen with it within the, uh, the chicken animal. Um, and so looking at that gut health, there's really two pieces. Um, there's the piece as it relates to uh, immune functionality and support, just overall general health. And then there's the digestive function, um, which, which has to deal with nourishment. And so that is the blend of the Better Flock program, right? And so we have two products, Avaplex and Nutriplex W, uh, that make up our program. Uh, Avaplex is focused on uh, during challenge time, stress, critical life changes, uh, such as the heat you talked about. Um, and that is going to be our immune focused uh, in terms of the gut harnessing uh, all of Mother Nature's superpowers to have direct and indirect benefits on that gut uh, to achieve the optimal health for our animal. Uh, where Nutriplex W is more of a, an everyday, and I call this like the harmonious, yeah, there you go, uh, the <laughs> harmonious kind of product that just stabilizes that gut, keeps it healthy and happy, uh, making sure that on a daily basis, the, your, your feathered friends are getting all the nutrients that they need. Um, and so, you know, breaking down e each of the products, you know, we had to um, utilize ingredients that were going to exemplify the best that we could. Uh, in terms of manipulating that gut in a positive way. And so that's where the idea of synergism uh, comes about. None of our, our products are 
individual simple ingredients. It is a, if you will, a, a magic cocktail uh, of scientifically bended ingredients um, that have been university tested, tested for many years, uh, thanks to all the data um, and, and work that Bianca and Claudia's father uh, brought down to us. And that's kind of the, the basis of the program and the two products. We've reached that part of the show where we hooked you up with some insider information. And this time it's some egg side information. Y'all know what I mean? <laughs> Cause people ask me all the time, how do you get your chicken so fluffy and healthy and happy? And their eggs are so bright, beautiful, and they taste delicious too. I would love to dedicate all those things to me coming in and having a great time in that chicken coop every day and shaking it up with those ladies. But the fact is it comes from a healthy and balanced diet of Purina's Laina. That's the brand we use. Whether you've got laying hens and you want to go with the Purina Laina plus Omega-3 or you got a bunch of baby chicks running around in your brooder and you go with that Purina Start and Grow Crumble, you can't lose. I know we haven't. So visit their website today and in three easy steps, you can get discount coupons for the Purina product that's right for some great nutrition for your animals. I did it myself and it only took me about two minutes. It's absolutely worth it. And to make things easier, we have the hyperlink on our website, Black yardchickens.com just look under product of the month and you'll see the link right there to go and try your purina feed greatness and through their trial program they can pair you with the right nutrition and let you try it with your animals and see the results now i can tell you all day how purina feed greatness has been absolutely phenomenal for my chickens goats ducks and rabbits but you can see for yourself go to blackyardchickens with the z.com now let's get back to this week's adventure that makes so much sense i know um just in nature a chicken is if it was wild, it would be able to find different things in different parts of the forest or foraging. And they don't really have that luxury when they're in the backyard. We try to feed them the best we can. But in reality, you're going to be missing something. So you guys are adding those things to help get the, the optimal efficiency for their digestive system and their bodies. Yeah, it's all about microbial health and, and what it relates to. And that really starts uh, while it can be influenced throughout the whole life. And it is important to to maintain that through the whole life, it, it really starts early on. Even just the first few days of life it is really critical to develop that gut uh, and secure a long-term healthy chicken that, that is able to, you know, really just go out and perform and be happy uh, and deal with all the elements uh, that, that's thrown out at nature because nature can be cruel at times. This is very true. So what about those that are just getting introduced to the product? They may have an older chicken. A lot of people in a backyard farm community or backyard flocks, they have pet chickens. So their chicken may, you know, be on their third year or fourth year and they see this product. Is it okay to start with, with this product with the older bird as well? Yep, absolutely. And, and what I always say is always start with Avaplex. Uh, we want to make sure that there's nothing going on inside that gut. We want to make sure if there is any damage from uh, previous times, and that's why it is really important. These these older hens may have uh, some damaged uh, epithelial lining, which is just the, the tissue in the intestine, um, and we want to make sure and restore that back to optimal health uh, back when you know when they were young and in their prime, right? And so always start with Avaplex uh, to make sure you restore that. And then it's even honestly more critical uh, as you get older, your digestive system simply isn't working as, as optimal. And so it may be harder for some of your older pets to be able to get all the nutrients they need just to reach maintenance. That's why you might see feather quality and things like that start to diminish. And, and so thanks to, to the goodness uh, of enzyme breakdown that's happening in Nutriplex W when you supplement with that, you ensure that all the nutrients and protein that that animal needs not only uh, to, to meet their maintenance but thrive and do well, especially in their old age, is, is super important uh, to, to keep that bird uh, living happy and, and for as long a life as genetically possible. I love that. You make it sound very sciencey, sir. But when I read the <laughs> bottle and I read this, this, uh, these different, um, you know, the information on the packaging, it, it's really simple. It's really easy. So it makes it super simple for the person, no matter what their background is. Um, cause everybody's not a scientist, Paul. That, that's why that's why I'm here. Paul, Paul, and I, Paul and I work very very closely together, and then you know, um, he we dive deep into the science, and they're like, "All right, let's back out and let's just mm -hmm. explain. Let's just you know communicate here. How would you say it to my child?" And um, and so I work as the translator from the scientific information <laughs> to the everyday speak information. Mm -hmm. No, that makes so much sense. I, I definitely follow what he was saying, but, um, you know, sometimes people can look at things and maybe get intimidated when in reality is you've got a product here that can 
uh, give the chicken a better life, you know, through any life stage, you can give them a better life, right? High, heighten the quality of its life as well. Yeah. And, and that's really the goal, right? Like there's so many, um, so many products out on the market and they, they all do what, what, you know, they're mm -hmm. prepared to do. Um, but what we've tried to do is take the guesswork out of that micro mixing. You can go and buy a bunch of individual ingredients and then mix it into the feed or add it into the water. But if you're not getting those ratios right, sometimes there are unintended consequences, you know, that you don't realize. And so what we've done is kind of uh, take the range of what people are trying to achieve with all those individual products and kind of bring it into this simple program, two products, um, one Avaplex at the start of life. And then when you're not using Avaplex, you switch to Nutriplex W. And then you just bring Avaplex in um, either at regular intervals every other week for kind of like a little spot check, or you bring it in when there's disease, illness, when, some, you know, stressors, molting, uh, you're transitioning the flock from like one location to another, um, those types of things, anything that can cause stress really when there's heat or cold. Um, Avapex really kind of swoops in to not only just boost immunity, but sort of support the organ function while they're stressed out. Like when anyone's stressed out, you or I, you know, I don't know, sometimes like my hair falls out or what, whatever the case may be. Um, <laughs> all the time yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> life is hard right um, what, what avaflex does is it kind of comes in and just keeps things going for them so they don't skip a beat they don't notice you know the sun can be glaring but they're just our, what we like to say is our mission is to have every flock live their best lives right what whatever that is um that that's the mission here um no that makes so much sense uh, I mean, I, I want to try it myself when I get stressed out, but I know it's not formulated for me. <laughs> no, we have chickens that came from rescue situations from um, egg plants or egg farms, right? They've been debeaked. They've had feather issues, um, not molting, just loss of feathers or plucking. And I know that giving them a balanced diet helped tremendously with the way they look. Now, I believe adding this right here, um, the Avaplex, um, would definitely help, I think, based on what you guys are saying. I think that it will help them recover and, and alleviate some of the stresses that their bodies may be going through. Yeah, we like to yeah, see it. Go ahead, go ahead, Paul. Yeah, sorry. I was just going to say definitely those, those hens, unfortunately, just been depleted, uh, you know, of a, a lot of the nutrients, uh, and they had to live a, a rather stressful life, and unfortunately. And so um, two things are going to happen there. You start off with, with that Avaplex, and you're going to, restore that gut, restore the microbiome, strengthen up, uh, you know, their intestines and, and really stimulate that immune system. You know, we can talk about some of the ingredients, but, but the antibodies is going to rejuvenate that immune function that's in, in that product. Uh, and then switching on to the, to the Nutriplex, uh, is it's going to make just life easier on them to fully digest that balanced diet. And so the balanced diet is absolutely the first step. Uh, you got to have the feed there in the first place. Uh, mm -hmm. But the unfortunate truth is, is if the microbiome and the digestive processes aren't working to their fullest intent, um, some of that really expensive diet you're buying can ultimately just be wasted because they can't fully digest it. Um, and mm -hmm. then that's going to cause some fecal matter issues in your coop. And so that's kind of where our product comes in to make sure uh, not only you're getting your money worth from, from that expensive diet, but it's actually doing what it's intended to do and really replenish that hen uh, and give her the strength she needs. So it does always start with, with, good you know a healthy environment good quality feed and then we're we're that uh safety net on top to make sure that everything is functioning properly so you can uh utilize all those elements that you're providing them if i equate that to me um, sometimes i do cleanses and then i'll try to make sure i eat clean and i'm exercising and i'm going outside but i still also might need a probiotic or something else to help boost my my internal system so this is kind of what and I guess in a simpler form is what it's doing for the chickens. Exactly, exactly. And and when you're going out into the environment um, and you do all these things, sometimes it, it can disrupt the gut. Uh, you know, environmental stressor, just uh, anything, um, it can throw the you know the gut off in the chicken, and then that makes them susceptible to sickness or illness, or just throws them off for a few days. Uh, providing a gut health supplement like this program. Just no matter the different influences environment, let's say you change your feed just because your, your local feed store ran out, you know, that can be just a stressful area. 
But if you're utilizing a, a supplement like this, it keeps that stress from causing any challenges because it maintains a stable uh, gut health, which is going to mean a stable chicken, not only in terms of just their organ function, but even from a behavioral standpoint. Um, mm. it, it keeps your coop harmonious, if you will. Okay, so we got some mellow powder over here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out there's some CBD in this stuff. <laughs> no CBD. I got you. No, if, you of... if you open it, it does smell very, very nice. It smells like a, mm -hmm. we, we've been told it smells like an oregano Italian brunch. Yeah, it does. It does. It definitely does. I definitely wanted to go to like Maggiano's or something afterwards. <laughs> after I cracked the, the top open. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. Um, just kind of going into it. Some people uh, diversify, right? Now I have ducks and I have guinea fowl. I'm about to pick up turkeys because chicken math, right? Why not? Um, how, how safe is it to be able to utilize this in uh, maybe a shared water source? Absolutely. So no concern at all. It's completely safe. In fact, we've designed the product to be for all avian species. Uh, we've mm -hmm. even taken that to a step that uh, we do university trials on these products. And not only do we have university trials on chickens, but we also have some that have been done on quails. Uh, and okay. we've done a lot of field testing and, and turkeys even. Um, and so no, absolutely no concerns there. It's designed for the avian species. Uh, says it right there on the label. You actually even see all, all the different animal icons. And so it's a, it's a great resource product uh, that you can utilize for, for all your avian pet friends. Cool. No feather left unturned. <laughs> Absolutely. Now that's pretty cool. This is a really great product. Um, what are some of the, I know Bianca, you probably catch some of the stories from, from social media and um, about your brand. And I know that makes you feel good when you see people starting to see their flock turn around or, you know, are they just getting that quality um, going up? Yes. It, it actually um, fuels me on this journey, right? Um, the, we, when we say we really, our mission is for every flock to live its best life. I mean, anytime I see someone post about a sick bird, I, I, I you know, I, I tend to message and it, it's usually me behind the scenes on social media, although it's, it's a couple of us, but I'll message them because it just tugs at my heartstrings when I'm like, oh, we have something here that, that, that really works. And, um, you know, so, uh, we, we've, we've sent out a few, um, in some cases and the, you know, the feedback um, is so rewarding um, because, you know, one thing is to have your mission, right? Um, but it's it's got to work in, in every backyard. Um, and, and that's what we're seeing. You know, um, I, I think you had her on your show a couple weeks back, mm -hmm. uh, Rye from COVID Cluckers. You know, she had, um, she was blue and she had Princess Leia who was sick. And so we worked with her and, and sent her out some, um, for particularly Princess Leia who, who was in her last months and we just wanted to help with quality of life. And, and from, she's become, um, one of our advocates just because she has seen the difference it's made in her flock. Mm -hmm. And that, that is truly humbling and rewarding for us. Um, and, and the feedback has started to, as more people find out about it, right? We're, we're new to the market here. Um, we launched our store a couple months ago officially mm -hmm. and, um, so betterflock.com, but, um, as more people find out, more people try the feedback that it works, that they can see the difference that, you know, sometimes you, you throw something in and you're just not sure, um, getting consistent results or consistent comments from different parts of the country, different backyards, different species, uh, different types of operations, hundred, hundred bird flocks versus 15 in your backyard that that is the fuel that keeps us going to on our mission to get this into everyone's backyard she's like a proud chicken mom looking at all of these flocks across the nation doing better now and paul is a chef the chef is always looking from the kitchen right peeking from the kitchen to say did they like did they like that dish paul how, how do we feel when we see these things yeah absolutely it, it's definitely you know the why I do this and, and what keeps me going, you know, even from, from a young age at the end of the day, it, it is truly about the animal. Um, and so it's, it's really rewarding to, to see. And I, I've worked a lot in this industry, even from, from a very young age and been around that, uh, 
um, you don't always get it right. And, and there's some ingredients out there that, that don't do what you want it to. And so to, to be a part of something where you get to use it and, and firsthand, uh, you're, you know, when the owner is calling you and saying, uh, my coop smells better, you know, the eggs are, are doing better, my chickens just are acting normal, you know, just from an animal welfare point, you're making a, a huge difference. Um, and, and you're really keeping every coop that you're touching happier and healthier. And, and that's why I do this. Um, and, and we never want to stop innovating and growing. And so it's that genuine feedback that not only fee feeds our soul and makes us happy, uh, but allows us, you know, uh, to keep working uh, and, and keep improving and doing everything we can that, that we're staying uh, is an optimal source uh, to better everyone's flock. Healthier, happier, eggier. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll <laughs> literally rolling those eggs on out we've reached that part of the show where we hook you up with some insider information and this week it's all about eating pet and pasture and i got a 20 percent discount code for you as farmers we know the love and care it takes to raise happy and healthy animals so choose the best when it comes to bedding premium cut timothy hay and treats for your furry and feathery friends so if you're looking for super absorbent hemp bedding or nesting pads for your laying ladies look no further than eating pet and pasture check them out right now at eatonpetandpasture.com and first time shoppers get a 20% discount by typing in Reese at checkout. That's R E E C at checkout. Now let's get back to another excellent adventure. <laughs> Where, what does that mean to you, Bianca, when you hear that slogan, your tagline, healthier, happier, eggier? What does that mean to you in response to the, some of the things you just spoke about um, from these flocks that are using your product? You know, sometimes it, hope, right? Hope. Mm -hmm. um, as a as a pet parent right you can't it's not you know they're they're like your kids and you know it's it, as paul mentioned earlier it's the community the emotional attachments in you know you can't communicate with words and so sometimes something's going wrong and we work with people and they're like something, you know, she, she seems off. She's not doing this. She's not doing that. But it's so hard to get to the root of the problem. So knowing that this program, you know, whether you start day one or you, you implement when you come across it can really move the needle in those make it or break it moments mm -hmm. that healthier, happier, eggier to me in, in those moments is hope. It's, it's a lifeline for something that is, university tested there's so much field data on it and it's it's science backed and it's proven mm -hmm. and so you know we can't we can't cure things right um but but we can help prevent things um if we start early enough and and in the moment when you know vet support's not i think it's a small small fraction of of flock keepers have access to an avian vet that that knows what's how to really get in there and diagnose um and it's expensive. So, you know, you're going to run to the ER every time you catch a cold. It's the same idea. Um, this, this can kind of fill that gap. We call it like your 911 therapeutic aid when, when vet support's not available. It's like, ah, run, grab the Avaplex. And, and we hear that, we hear that from people, you know, um, someone we work with, uh, a customer, she had, um, sort of a predator attack and in, in one, she, you know, she's there out in her field chasing all the chickens, trying to get them back, warding off the predator. She's bleeding. The the flock is clearly stressed out. I mean, she, she ran and grabbed the Avaplex, and she's like, Avaplex for one, you know, and, and then fill in the blank. And we get, we've get we gotten a few of those from her. She has a large flock and a lot of land, so, you know, it's a, like a target for all the variables. And so she, you know, she'll message us often, like, Avaplex just saved Mm. my flock um another another uh person we work with um Al first time first time chicken mama um growing these babies and she's um you know she calls herself the landless farm she she she's on a small lot in suburbia missouri you know and she has her garden in the front of the house and the coop in the back and there's this one one bird shuri who just testing her testing her every month her and, patience. <laughs> yeah, testing that her 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 heart her strength yeah. <laughs> everything. and so we you know she's also in the medical field mm -hmm. and so she'll she's taken avaplex before and and syringe fed it 
mm-hmm. at a, a slightly higher concentrated dose she checked with us and and you know the, we're always available right to answer questions we're in the dms all the time um answering questions and helping people out and so she's syringe fed the bird i think you know enough times now um she's like i kid you not she told us avaplex has probably brought her back to life <laughs> like four times at this wow. point wow. Yeah, that's so incredible. that that's ultimately so rewarding right when when otherwise it's you're, you're dealing with loss right and so mm-hmm. no i mean i <clears throat> i wish i knew about you guys maybe like four or five months ago um i had a bird that was egg bound and we just did every google trick in the book trying to get this bird and i know because of some of the things we were doing it probably gave her a an extra few weeks um but ultimately we lost her and that's what happens you have these birds you have these pets you're gonna lose some but to hear you got a product that can possibly prevent some of those things almost like us taking vitamins and then also attack some of those problems and help get that gut or the reproductive system back on track i mean this is this is amazing to hear it really is and it's very it's very um i guess hopeful hey yeah that's it exactly what the the idea of the the, the program and why why a program it, it's uh, almost as is to an adaptation of the lifestyle of your coop uh, to make sure that we can help prevent a, a lot of the common pain points uh, that we unfortunately see that comes with chicken ring it, it, you know you can almost think of the program as a safety net and and when you follow it you definitely get to you know hear the rewarding feedback and, and you know you ask the question uh, of our slogan you know what resonates with us and to me it's it's eggier um, for, mm-hmm. for that one, that word means a lot to me. And the, the reason being is because, you know, someone will come to me and be like, how, how do I know if the product is working? How do I know if the program is really doing something? Um, and, you know, whether you're just got into chicken keeping or you've been doing it for years, you know when something's up with your flock. Uh, and mm-hmm. one of the first things is you can see it in the eggs a lot of times. Uh, you know, while a lot of these backyard uh, coops, the eggs are great, we're not always trying to maximize our egg production like in commercial, but... Um, seeing really good healthy consistent egg production is, is just a good tell sign you know during the right times of year that um our chickens are doing well you know right now um they should be laying well there they should be in their prime as long as that all the parameters are right in terms of age and time of year and so if that's not happening uh you can tell something's going on uh something's causing some issues in, in those chickens uh, and it's definitely t- uh, time to hopefully start adapting a program to help alleviate what uh, stressor maybe just causing some some animal welfare concerns in your coop and, and can eventually lead to a lot of health issues. So if you're looking to start your flock, add to your flock, or maybe add a few ducks, chickens, or geese, My Pet Chicken is the website for you. And if you're just getting started, they even have a tool to help pick the perfect poultry for your backyard flock. Check them out today at MyPetChicken.com. Right now, you can get $10 off when you join the SMS club. MyPetChicken.com. Raise fun, happy, and healthy chickens from live poultry to coops and supplies. My Pet Chicken has everything you need to start, grow, and maintain maintain your backyard flop shop today mypetchicken.com that's amazing i mean man bianca what does it mean to you to take your dad's work and this is kind of like the epitome of legacy you guys are taking those lessons and those drawings from those napkins and over dinner and stuff like that to the next level and introducing it and saving and changing people's lives in the process because they love their birds they love their flocks what does that mean to you well, thank you because you know we're in the thick of it right and so we don't we don't we don't always feel like we've mm-hmm. done enough or have reached enough um people or flocks um but it, it means a lot you know our dad lived by he founded the, his company on the principle his slogan it was a very long slogan it wasn't a good marketing slogan but it was his you know this this is what Amen. i live by Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the good actions of today make for a better tomorrow. And mm-hmm. his whole thing was, you know, he wanted to leave the world a better place um, than when he came or when he entered it. And so, mm-hmm. you know, I, he left earlier than than anyone would have liked, um, certainly. But, you know, the, the, the question has me a little emotional because I get to, I get to carry that out for him. Right. My siblings and I, we get to, we get to take it, you know, 
beyond where he was able to. He, he took it very far and wide, right? Central America, South America, Asia. But we get to, to bring it home and take it to everyone's backyard um, and that, and hopefully leave this world uh, a better place. And so you already are you guys already are Thanks. mission accomplished but i know it's going to get bigger from here uh i i just i know just based on talking to you guys and, and hearing paul you guys have an incredible team um for those that are just learning about this product it's really good to hear that we can send a dm or send a message and then somebody gets back to us no matter how big you guys get i know that's still going to be part of your fabric of your company so it's just it feels good to be able to do that Thank you. We're, we're, we love this. This is, this is definitely passion driving, you know, the products work and they're, they're fantastic, but you know, a good product without the passion is just a jar and a shelf. And so the, we really, you know, thank you. So we're genuine all the way through, not only just from who we are and, and our story, uh, but down to the products and ingredients, you know, we're 100% genuine and transparent. Uh, as far as what's going in the products, the trust you can have of it. Um, and so you know that you can read on that ingredient label and, and trust in everything uh, that's there uh, and the science that backs it. And so, you know, with that whole mission, genuinality is, is the thing that I really strive for in everything I do, uh, both when I'm working on marketing campaigns to Bianca or when I'm back in the, the lab or out in the field. Uh, that, that's something that, that's really important for us. And it was really important for us to, to you know, we, we have it on the jar, uh, harness Mother Nature's superpowers, right? Like, nature's incredible and, and has, you know, gives us so much that we really can give nature for nature. And so, um, you know, the products are all natural. There's no dyes, no uh, fillers, thickeners, those types of ingredients. It's water soluble, but it's very versatile. The, the, our... One of our founding like uh, tenets or principles is creating value, right? Creating mm -hmm. value across uh, the board and, and value for the pet parents is one thing. Value for uh, the folks, you know, that, that monetizes, that live off, um, you know, raising meat birds or selling eggs at farmer's markets. Um, that is really important for us. And so we, we pick, like Paul mentioned, premium high quality ingredients, very intentional ingredients. Um, you know, a, we, we have proprietary probiotics that are avian specific, right? So it's not just a generic bacillus that, that you just, you know, buy and shove in a product, right? This is cultivated from the avian species for the avian species so that when they ingest it, their body recognizes it. They know what it's intended to do and it quickly kind of folds in. We have very, um, unique strains too, not the typical ones that you'll find um, elsewhere. And then, um, you know, the the blend is the other important piece, right? The, the ratios between uh, the ingredients are scientifically balanced so that you get the most the best outcome. Um, we, we have a saying, another saying, right? Um, so value creation is a big one where you, it's two products, but you'll get X more in value that you can sell and monetize and feed your, even if you're, you're growing meat birds to feed your family, right? You'll grow healthier meat birds, um, you know, finishing them off with Avaplex, like ensures there's a less chance of any pathogen in the bird, better quality, like more tender because they were stress-free, that sort of thing. Um, but the other saying we have is optimization over maximization, right? Mm -hmm. We're not, we're not focusing on like, you know, one specific thing, oh, more eggs or, you know, I don't know, uh, another specific, um, I don't know, Paul, you can, you can like, you're yeah. kind of like jumping on all overall quality and health. So it's not like, OK, we want to create a product to push out more eggs or make a product to make the bird grow faster. No, we just want healthy birds. And when you get a healthier bird and a happier bird, then you get a healthier product, whether it's a pet, a meat bird or a, a layer. Right. It, gut health is, is very complex. Animal well-being and health is very complex. And so it doesn't take one simple answer. It, it, it takes this complex ingredient formulation. And uh, with that, we, we're not trying to raise just the biggest bird ever. We want to optimize every component uh, that equals rearing a, you know, a livestock or pet species like this. And 
is better flock we're always trying to take it that one step further you know as, as bianca said we're, we're all about uh the homesteading lifestyle and and feeding your family and so those raising meat birds uh you know uh the the one concern you can have is, is sal salmonella is a, is a real thing um mm -hmm. and the great thing about avaplex is we have uh, some natural antibodies in there that specifically target go after salmonella and so what that does is you're ensuring the reducing the overall salmonella loads which is going to create a cleaner environment for when you do go uh to, to humanely harvest those animals that uh, you're producing a safer product that makes so much sense because you can have a bird that looks 100 percent healthy and they could be shedding salmonella so to have Absolutely. a product like that yeah. that helps uh kind of you know take some of the stress and worry about that nothing's 100 percent. we know that but to be able to help it or that that is incredible that's amazing work yeah yeah and even our, go ahead I, I was just gonna say our, our intentions are you know in, in, a, in a world of gut health there's a lot of buzzwords that happens and, mm -hmm. and as a company you know we are data driven and we are research uh you know driven and, and thanks to bianca's help and claudia's help make it down to a simplest form for everyone uh, but with that, we're not just using buzzword ingredients and throwing them in, in a package and moving on. Uh, right. it, it's truly been tested o over years, and, and the results are, are there, and, and they'll definitely be able to be seen for themselves as, as customers pick up these jars and simply use the product. Yeah. We, one of our, before we launched, you know, um, we were working down here in South Florida. There's, there's a big ag community, and uh, we were working with a local farmer, and just, um, kind of, you know, he was having some inconsistencies with, with his egg laying. And so, um, his testimonial, I think is up on our, on our social, um, with, by, by streamlining gut health for him, um, we were a same amount of chickens, same feed, same everything, nothing changed except the addition of the product within about three weeks, we were able to double his egg production. And it's not, you're not creating new eggs, right? You're not just you know, doing the scientifically and impossible, you're just optimizing that bird and, and, and getting, getting everything inside the bird just kind of streamlined and, and happy. And when the bird's happy and everything's functioning as it's supposed to, and it's able to extract the nutrients it needs from its food because it's not stressed out, it's going to do its thing, right? It's going to make, if it's meant to lay, it's going to lay. And, and so that, that was one of the early sort of testaments that, that we're we're on the right track here in 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 trying to help every flock and make this available where you know his family lives off this this is one of this this is how he feeds his family not not just the eggs but he sells them mm -hmm. and so to be able to have the same amount of inputs but then double the product that you can you can sell um is is you know part of that value creation mission for us now that makes sense someone like yeah. him for someone like him, you know, with a few hundred hens and going, you know, to, to farmer stands, he, he can also really stand behind, uh, you know, the product to being, you know, we are uh, something that can be used on organic facilities, completely all natural. You know, the, the customers were going to him for a reason. They enjoyed the, the way he was taking care and raising his animals. And so this just gave an extra layer of confidence that he was able to, to you know, share at the farmer's market. Uh, with, with his his uh, prideful customers, you know, of where the egg and, and the quality came from. Plus, I think it, one of the selling points for him was his eggs were coming out cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all look. <laughs> it, it, it helps with uh, the Nutriplex in particular, right? When the program's when the program's in, it, underway, you've been using it consistently already for a couple of weeks, you'll see a couple of things. And one of the things you'll see is inherently cleaner eggs because the fecal matter has sort of sorted itself out a bit and mm -hmm. it's not sticky and sticking to to the egg so i think that alone was you know enough for him but it's enough for me i'll tell you that bianca yeah. i am sold <laughs> you weren't even selling i'm doing it no. <laughs> if, if you look at science you just just for a minute what's what's really unique about nutriplex is it is packed full of really great enzymes uh, that's focused on protein utilization and, and that's what allows when you see that cleaner fecal matter that tells you right away okay this product is working uh, i'm not wasting nutrients in those expensive feeds that i'm paying for anymore the chicken is actually able to digest fully absorb it utilize it not only for their own well-being and feather health quality but going into a, a high quality nutritious egg 
Uh, and and yeah. so that's what you're going to notice that fecal matter just doesn't smell. You don't have those issues. A, a lot of, uh, you know, problems that you can have in your coop, not only from dirty eggs, but just uh, generic issues can all lead around, you know, maybe some fecal matter issues that can harbor some mm -hmm. pathogens, bacteria may even lead to some egg binding and things when you have digestive issues. And, and so that's mm -hmm. where uh, the program from day one can help uh, eliminate a lot of those stressors. That makes a lot of sense. Poop never, I've never heard a good story behind poop. So <laughs> <laughs> it makes a lot of sense, man. That, that, that's incredible work. Nutritionists focus on poop probably way more, <laughs> way more than we should, but it's, it's a telltale sign of, of what's happening inside the animal and if everything's functioning properly. Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense. I saw Jurassic Park. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is in the poop. <laughs> no, but exactly. man, this is incredible. I really love it. Um, I, I want everybody, I'm imploring everybody to check you guys out, follow you online at Better Flock across your social media platforms and again, check out betterflock.com. Check out these products and see how it works for you. I'm definitely going to try it. I'm going to be documenting my journey too. And to know that, like, obviously, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big uh, proponent for Purina feed, right? I've seen how it works. I've seen what it's done. I think that adding this into it will actually probably, like you said, get more into it and more out of it. So, man, I appreciate what you guys are doing for people like us, just, you know, the small flocks and the people with, with some backyard chickens as well to hire that quality of life for our birds. And, and it might even save you. Yeah, thanks. Um, it might even save you a little money there too, um, because when they're getting the nutrition that they need, they, they optimize their feed intake, right? Chicken are really smart about, uh, I mean, they'll eat anything, but they're really smart about knowing how much to eat of what. And so, um, you you might see some, some savings on, on your premium feed as well. Everybody likes that. Now, if we can only create something for goats to know when to stop eating, they never know when to stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> that goes break out one species at a time we'll put it on our list there we go, there we, go. We, we need better herd because <laughs> yeah, man my, my little ones broke out of their enclosure yesterday and ate like three weeks worth of feed and food and i was like oh god <laughs> three weeks wow yeah that's right but, you know that's goats goats are gonna goat Goats will go chicken math will chicken math. Uh, that. There, there are certain uh, laws in the backyard space, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your time. We're going to obviously do a giveaway through our social media platform. So make sure that you guys, if you're listening to this, uh, check out our better flock giveaway on black yard chickens across our social platforms. We're going to be hooking some lucky people up with some, uh, some of the uh, power couple, right? Well, she's power couple. There we go. I love it. And thank you guys for doing that for our, our listeners and watchers too, man. It, it really means a lot to us that we can kind of not only tell people about these things, but let them test it out. No, of course. So, thank, thank you for you. having us. We appreciate it. We, we're, we're big fans of yours. We love all that you do on, on the animal rescue front, on the education front, and then on the foundational front, you know, helping kids and with, with that. So, Thank you so much. Now, now I have more to tell them about now too. say, Hey, we add this to our chickens waters and then guess what it does. So now I have more to talk about. I can sound smart like you guys. <laughs> well, just anything you need, DM us. We'll give you, you know, more talking points. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again for your time. This has been another episode of excellent adventures, a better flock episode of excellent adventures thanks for tuning in to another episode of excellent adventures powered by black yard chickens now if you think you want to raise your own backyard flock here's the site for you blackyardchickens.com we make entertaining videos about raising baby chicks from scratch you know what i mean by from scratch right or maybe you want to learn how to take care of your own big chickens or hens and get those fresh eggs building a coop or buying a coop having the necessary things inside that coop to get great egg production. You'll learn a lot of the neat tricks I've picked up along the way from other chicken enthusiasts, and you can get pretty eggs just like those. So follow us on social media and check us out on our YouTube channel.